Welcome back to another video on my channel where I upload Webflow tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create and style gradient underlines inside of Webflow, like this one here. We're going to create this in a second. So basically there are a couple of options to create this. One of them would be to add another div and to kind of animate it on hover if you want to hover animation like this one that we have here. Um, but yeah, you would have to create interactions and everything. I'll show you an option today, a method um, with a little bit of custom code, a little bit of custom CSS to be precise. And no worries, I'll leave the custom code inside of the description and it's also not really too advanced, so no worries. And without any further talking, I would say let's start right away. Alright, so I have already set up a Webflow project so that we can start with adding and styling the underline immediately. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to make turn this into a link and we're going to set a class here of text style underline. I just selected kind of a span of this paragraph but you could also like just select the whole thing. It doesn't really matter, it's just for this tutorial, I'm going for this option here. And there we can already set up a background, so we're just going to add a normal background linear gradient. And I'll start by with this color here, then on 20%, or actually on 40%, I'll just switch to this color, then on 60%, let me just switch to 60%. I'll go for this one and then on 100% I'll have this color here. So then we can adjust the angle of the background gradient like this for example. And now we get to the custom code. So basically here we'll just add an embed. You can also add it from the elements panel. I just used the shortcut control E here to open the menu. And then we're just going to start with the CSS style opening tag and then we're going to target the class of text style um, underline and the name of our class and then I'm going to put the curve bracket opening and also the closing and then I'm going to create a little bit of space here so basically we'll have to add a couple of different CSS properties here um, no worries, I'll leave the whole code snippet inside of the video description so that you don't have to write this code yourself, uh, by yourself. So the first property will be the background size and the background size will determine the size of our underline. So basically this one here will have um, 100% for now and 3 pixels. So this will be the width 100% and this is the height 3 pixels. You can change the values and then I'll finish this a property here by placing a semicolon. Then the next property will be background repeat. And we'll have to set this to no repeat because it will mess up our um, background if we don't set this uh, property here. And then the last pro and then the last property will be the background position. Before I do this, let me show you how it would look at the current moment. So the current moment at the current moment it will look like this. So the underline would be on top of our gradient, but we don't want this. So basically the last property will be the background position position and the background position will be set to bottom and left so this will just place it in the left bottom clearly and that's it for now if we have a look at it now it's uh, already looking pretty nice like this here um, but that's only a part of this tutorial because we want to actually create a hover animation now. The underline will grow from the left here. And we're going to do this inside of our embed. So we'll just have the dot text style underline. And the text style underline will clearly be followed by the opening. Oh, I forgot something. Clearly we have to define that it's on hover so we'll have a colon here so on hover we'll have some styles 
we're only going to manipulate one single property here, which will be the background size. So we're just going to we're just going to set the background size to 100% and three pixels on hover. And you might be wondering, yeah, but that's just the same thing as we have above. And yeah, that's true. And that's why we're going to set this to 0% width here. So basically it will just um, grow to 100% width on hover like this. And now we're just going to set a um, style closing tag. And now we can see on our preview mode that when we hover over this uh, link here, it will have the underline but it's looking kind of harsh right now. We want to have it a little bit smoother over time animate it. So this is another thing we're going to do inside of our embed. And here we're just going to set a transition property, transition, and then we'll have the background size. And we want the animation over something like 300 milliseconds. You can again adjust the value however you want it to be. And then the last thing is we're going to apply an easing. So I'm just going to um, select ease here. And again, I'll finish it by putting a semicolon here. And that's basically it. Now, if we check it out inside of the preview mode, we can see that it's a uh, really a nice um, hover animation here on this link and no matter where we apply this uh, class of textile underline now inside of our project it will always work like this so this is really a, a nice way to create this effect inside of webflow with only a little bit of custom code and no worries you can also afterwards just uh, change the values here and then it will look different than it uh, did before i hope you can create your own um, gradient underlines inside of Webflow after watching this tutorial. If you think it was helpful, then make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any new videos. If you have a question regarding these um, gradient underlines or generally questions regarding Webflow, just leave them in the comments. I will reply. Other than that, see you soon and have a nice day.